Hey, what's up everybody? So, um, I just wanted to do a quick little video, just giving you a friendly reminder to uh, check your resources before you pay to have someone do any remodeling work for you. Um, I'm here at my parents' house, and they hired a gentleman to remodel their bathroom here. And the project started one year ago this month in September, and it was promised to be done by middle of October or possibly part way into November. So, you know, a couple months, which is understandable. And it wasn't until uh, just a month and a half or two months ago, after a deadline yet again, that the toilet was finally installed. But, um, oh, mom's calling for me, so she's probably wondering where I'm at. But I just wanted you to see, after nearly an entire year, what has been done and what has not been done. So we'll start here, after having multiple cabinets built. Finally got one, but there's only one light in there. Here's the toilet that was just put in. And not to mention this guy hasn't even been here in, I don't know, in more than a couple hours in the last couple months. The sink has yet to have a faucet on it. The uh, outlets are not, or the covers are not new. Everything has been reused or taken from another room. The shower has no door on it. And the tub, oh, that's right, one of the first things that said would be done. Um, obviously it is not. And he still has some of his tile and stuff laying around here. All of this crap. He doesn't use his own tools. He will hunt through the house to find stuff of yours so he can use it. And uh, then he'll put them somewhere so he can't, or you have no idea where your tools are at or your mops or brooms or pliers or anything else. But um, yeah. So like I said, I just wanted to give you a friendly reminder. Oh, and one more thing. It took months and months before he finally put this in, which is not just a vent or a light, it also has a built-in heater. Well, he only rock wired one switch that uh, turns everything on, so when the heater and, or the uh, fan vent is on, then the heat is also on. So if you're trying to attempt to get a shower without a door or a bath without a bathtub and you turn on the vent you will also be scorched out of here in the middle of summer because the heat turns on. So uh, yeah, like I said, check your resources. This gentleman is from Great Bend and I won't give any names yet because he uh, hasn't finished anything and the worst part about it, he filed bankruptcy a year and a half ago so they're pretty much screwed all the way around and even if they tried to do anything it would not be a success so uh, yeah check your sources don't get screwed around and don't allow people like this to play games with you while he's out you know taking your money and then taking money at other places and actually getting some of that work somewhat accomplished so um, yeah oh and I just saw that this here isn't even grouted yet. So, and yeah, that just looks like horrible work. Definitely would not recommend this guy to anybody, but I assure you, once everything is actually completed, the truth will out, and you will all know who not to go with in the Great Bend area for any type of remodeling work of any kind. Uh, but on a side note, they also had a deck built by this guy, and it has chunks that are cracking out of it because it's more of a composite rather than a wood. Um, there are several spots where they basically cut into a plank that was already put down while they were cutting another plank and they did not replace it. It is like you're looking at the ocean with all the waves in it. So that was the first project, and then he installed a garage, or a shed door. And they've had nothing but problems. 
and the wind, uh, since he didn't actually secure it very well, basically blew the entire door inward so it was swinging in and he had to come out and fix that. So yeah, um, just be careful with who you get to do any work. And it looks like I'm already five minutes and 20 seconds into my video. So I will let you go. I was out here, just thought I would do a little funny video. So uh, beware, do your research, check around with the community to see if they know who you're getting and make sure that this does not happen to you because this guy, in my opinion, is nothing but a rotten person who should rot in hell. So, yes, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you enjoy. So, uh, we'll talk to you guys later.